Yes, yes, on the wings of love is the way to go. On the wings of love, we begin to experience new, new things that the Lord has prepared for those that love Him. I'm making this recording today from the from the lakes of Basilio. This is somewhere up in Milan. I'm somebody who who likes nature a lot because from nature you can see the glory of the Lord and the beauty and the sheer majesty, utter majesty of the Lord when you just look into creation. When you just look at the, the mountains, when you look at the, 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 the variety of trees, the birds, praise God. When you look at the landscapes, you can't but help, you know, stand in awe at the utter wisdom of God. Praise God. Now, these are the things we are supposed to be occupying ourselves with, brethren. Beholding His glory. Beholding the glory of the only begotten. Hallelujah. And we can only behold His glory as we awake in Him. Praise God. There's something I'm going to make reference to, something I've always done, and I always do, that experience the disciples had upon the mountain of transfiguration. Jesus Christ took just three of them up that mountain and transfigured before them. And there they could see the sheer majesty and the beauty of the Lord of glory. In fact, one of the disciples asked to remain there that they should build tents, tabernacles, and just remain on that mountain top, beholding that glory. Praise God. If our eyes can be open to just behold the beauty of God, you will realize that all, that is all you need throughout all eternity. The psalmist says, One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that will I seek after, to behold your beauty of the Lord. Hallelujah. To, to remain in the inner courts of the temple and to behold the beauty of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can't hold the, behold the beauty of the Lord if we are down there on the earth quarreling with one another, arguing with one another. See, having bitter battles over possessions, over rights, over beliefs we can't see it down there upon the earth that is why Jesus Christ had to take his disciples quietly up that mountain see what happened is that the spirit gave them the wing of an eagle the wings of the eagle so that they could fly to that high mountain to be with the Lord praise God where I am is where you will be so that you can behold my glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's actually an experience of love. I heard this message some, some years back, some months back, from um, a brother in Australia called Anthony Den Hartog. Anthony Den Hartog. And um, I think that message was titled Experience of Love. I heard that message and... Um, you see, it reminded me of certain experiences that the Lord took me through over the years. Praise God. I'm going to release the book shortly. See it. Speaking about the, what they call it, the, the experiences I had in God's paradise. This one experience that Paul, um, what do they call him? Paul, Paul called the experience in the third heavens. Hallelujah. I had an experience, and that experience is there for every child of God to have. That is our inheritance. Hallelujah. Not just to just see the third heavens, but to abide there forever. 
where I am is where you will be, and that is the place of the king, beholding the beauty and the majesty of God. It's all about love, and love is the thing that I actually observed about the nature of God in those experiences I had in the third heavens. Praise God. In those experiences in that high elevated place, you begin to discover that we never truly knew God as men. We had very wrong concepts of God. See, false concepts of God. See, we had cooked up beliefs of what God is and these things have affected our lives. Because the way we look at God goes a long way in affecting our mode of behavior, how we treat one another, how we view life. Many have a very negative view of life because of their view of God. A very wrong view of God and the thing that really jacked me, the thing that I observed most about is the very childlike, innocent, love nature of God. It's something that is beyond words. Words can't express this love of God, this nature of God when you are in that temple, when you are in the inner courts of God and you begin to experience the fullness of His presence. It is, it is beyond words. Praise God. God loves all men and He wants all men to come to the knowledge of the truth. When Paul wrote this, Paul was actually speaking the heartbeat of God. Not just doctrines, not just letters. God desires that all men come to the knowledge of the truth and be saved. Come to the realization of love, of the bountiness of His glory that awaits you. Come to the knowledge of who you are in Him. He's not after you. He has never been after you. He has never known you as a sinner. He has never known you as a transgressor. See, these were beliefs that deceived us as men. Hallelujah. Today the light is shining. God is love. This is the thing that I observed and I, I noticed. And I tell you the truth. You need to have this experience in God. Praise God. You see, God's kingdom is all about love. See, it's a kingdom of love and love unlimited. It's paradise. And this is what we are called today to experience in its fullness. Hallelujah. John writes that the light is shining. That light is shining right now, and that light is the revelation light of Christ. And when the light shines, that which is real, that which is true, comes to light. And it's John adds that he that is in the light, who claims to be in the light, and does not love his brother is still in darkness. The darkness of this world that we live in, this world of numerous beliefs, this world of appearances has blinded the eyes of his understanding so that he cannot even see what is the knowledge, what is the, the mystery of life. Oh, praise God. When the light shines and dawns on man, we become aware of the one that lives. See, we've always believed in twos, in threes, in nations, in tongues, in diversities. 
yes there are diversities but those diversities all originate out of one and that one is the body or the, the, the man that we preach today that we call Christ as the light is shining and the eyes of understanding begins to open the darkness is no more what we be what we begin to behold is one harmonious body in God functioning in love now we've, upon the earth we have experienced wars worries contentions battles we've experienced so many things as men isn't it and everybody wants a portion of this and a portion of that but if you go up that mountain take the wings of the spirit hallelujah and go up to that mountains that mountain peak you will discover that the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to God to the Lord and the Lord alone all things belong to him the man of the spirit so you see men war with each other and they, they, they you have the battles and the conflicts nation against nation because they live in darkness not realizing the one that lives forever praise God and here is the love with which God has loved us eternal life eternal life is in the son the one who lives forever the promise is that we have eternal life that we can be partakers of that life of God we can, we can experience love we can experience joy we can experience gladness of heart we can experience the peace that you know surpasses the knowledge of the natural man oh praise god hallelujah we can experience life in the bosom of god hallelujah on the wings of love we begin to explore the realms of god the depths the breath we begin to explore the infinite compassions of god hallelujah the psalmist says lord we have heard of thy loving kindness in the midst of the temple it. we have heard of your loving kindness in the midst of your temple and the desire of the psalmist was to experience that love that was in the midst of the temple brethren let this be our goal to experience this love in its fullness Praise God. And when we experience this love in its fullness, everything begins to work out and take shape because in that bond of love and oneness, all things are possible. Hallelujah. You begin to have the power to do the things that are unfathomable, unfathomable to the natural mind. I've experienced these things. I know what it means to walk in the unlimited power of God it functions through love praise God Jesus Christ says in that day you will ask whatever you want and it shall be done for you it's all functioning with love in that day in the day of your awakening when the shadow that covers your eyes when the mists see it when the veil is torn from your face and you begin to behold the majesty of the one 
when you begin to realize yourself encompassed in that unspeakable love with shouts of joy then anything you ask for shall come to pass hallelujah see that is the power that work that is the dynamics behind the power that operated in Jesus and that is the dynamics behind the power that operates in the saints as they ascend on the wings of love hallelujah that is the power that creates the heavens and the earth see it you see these things you see around us hallelujah praise God just look at that, those those birds up there in the sky see look at the birds look at the, look at the trees Look at the elements in the world, in the skies, in the heavens. These things came to be through love. See, they were brought forth through the bowers of love making between us and God. And all these things are expressions of the love of God being brought forth. Expressions of that love with the Father and the Son. It's all about love. Hallelujah. Let us exercise ourselves to experience that love. Let the goal of every saint and every child of God who hears truth be to experience this love that surpasses knowledge. It's a wonderful thing. Hallelujah. Praise God. He that, you know, says he has the light and hates his brother is still in the darkness. Praise God. Love is beyond letters, is beyond knowledge. See, love is higher than that. Praise God. Love is an experience. See, where you have doctrines, where you have knowledge, that is still upon the earth. But when we ascend up in the spirit, all that ceases and all that there is, is God. And we are called to experience that life. Praise God. That is our life. That is what has been given to us today. The ability to experience the love of God. Praise God. How we can fly in the heavens. In the book of Revelation, you see angels flying with wings, preaching the everlasting gospel of love. See it, wings of love, high above the skies. See it, in the heights, in the heavens. Oh, praise God. Brethren, God is love. And we are called to love. See it. Let us exercise ourselves in these things. See it. Recognizing the weaknesses in the flesh. And having compassion with one another. Oh, hallelujah. Let us grow together in that oneness. In this realization. Oh, hallelujah. It needs prayers. It needs meditation. It needs remembrance. Fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Fellowship with the Father. Hallelujah. And you see, many have been hurt over the years. Many have been through so many bitter battles. But I say, if you just but listen to the voice of the Spirit and continue in this doctrine, you will know the truth. And you will break forth into the realms of God's love and compassion. Oh, praise God. I received a call from a sister the other day and she has been through so many, but many battles. She has been so, through so many, many, many battles with you know, husbands, people who have you know, left her, people who have cheated her and used her and all her car. And she was so bitter and hit and I was almost in tears when I heard her calling because I, you know, these sisters confided in me and the only thing I could tell her was 
she should try to bring herself to enter into fellowship with God. See it. I, she can't be healed with me laying her hands on her or whatever, but rather in her ability to fellowship with God in this hour. Praise God. This is the same thing that we are all called to do as saints of God. We are called to love. We are called to, to experience the love of God in its fullness. We are called to experience a fellowship of love, intimate love with the Father. Hallelujah. And this is the thing that defines what we call paradise, the paradise of God. Hallelujah. See it. He says, I knock on the door of your heart. If you open up, I will come in and sup with you and you with me. See, and when you do these things, he says that, I will grant you to sit with me on my throne. And when you sit with God on his throne, that means you rule and you reign with him in love. It will liberate you from those beggarly elements, those sentiments upon the earth, those hurts, those pain, those betrayers, sense of betrayers, sense of abandonment. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hurts and pains and bitterness. See it stabs here and there all over your body. If you just allow the fellowship to begin with you, with your father, with your God. Allow the father remind you of yourself. See, the father will only remind you of your inheritance in him, of your portion in him. The father will bring remembrance of truth and cause you to escape the lies that encompass this world hallelujah see the psalmist says that my soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler the snare is broken and we have escaped our help is in the name of the lord See, that is the soul that has been liberated from the lies and the bondages of the flesh, the lies of humanity. He has been liberated from that cage, that hell cage of torment. Desperation, whether there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, whether there is limitedness, where you are so boxed up, you know, and you know, in bondage to the beggarly elements of yourself, that you, you don't seem to be able to break forth. You, you know, you don't seem to be able to break forth into that realm, that glorious realm of, of singing and joy in God. The joy of my salvation. Where is the joy of my salvation? It comes by fellowship and by remembrance. Hallelujah. The Father wants to give us that wind of an eagle. To fly high to that mountain top, to that peak, and remain with Him forever. He wants to give us the wings of the bird so that we can escape the corruption, the lies, the bondages, the hurts. Hallelujah. The Psalm, you see, you see like the Psalm used to say, the, the earth, the dark places of the earth are full of violence. Bloodletting, lies, wickedness. But God has given us wings today through the gospel. We can fly in the heavens like that angel in the book of Revelations proclaiming the everlasting gospel of love and liberty unto all creation. It's possible now as we hear the last trumpet, the message from, the, from above in this hour. Praise God. Let us experience love. Let us walk in love. Let us recognize one another. 
it requires a lot of meditation, it requires a lot of prayers. It requires a lot of attention. It requires a lot of patience. Meditating on this thing that God has revealed to you over the years. And you will know the truth. And the truth will make you free if you continue in this doctrine. If you continue in this doctrine, you will know the truth and the truth will set you. You will know it experientially. You will know the experience of love. It says that in that day you will know that you are in me and I am in you. You will know that we are one in love. It's something that is something that you experience consciously. Oh, hallelujah. In him there is no more death, no more sorrow, no more pain, no more tears, no more bitter tears, no more desperation. All things are yours. Be lifted up. Say, let the spirit lift you up. Be lifted up. Hallelujah. Be lifted up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Hallelujah. Let the spirit lift you up and take your place on the pinnacle of Zion. God bless you.